horse bifocal here. In this session, I'm going to be describing how to report predictive performance metrics. For example, monthly WIP expense. The data set that I'll be using in this session is shown, where I'll be tracking monthly expense over time. Now instead of tracking monthly expense of WIP, we could look at lot characteristic, maybe viscosity, product revenue, number of products shipped, the critical dimension, profit, or EBITDA, just to name a few. But what we want to have is a single value for a particular time increment that's shown in the Excel spreadsheet. What I'm going to be sharing with you is how to use a free software app that you can use to analyze your data. I'll be sharing with you how you can access the software at the end of this presentation. So this is an Integrated Enterprise Excellence or IEEE Chart Builder. So when using this software, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your data set. In this case is expense. What you will see on the right hand side is a snippet of what your Excel spreadsheet had in the upper left hand corner. Now for this software we can analyze no subgroups, subgroups or attribute data. Since we have only one data at a point in time, we have a situation where we, the option that we use is no subgroup. You then enter your column of the spreadsheet that you want to analyze, which is expense. What you will see on the right hand side is the chart that's appropriate for this particular set of data. This is a chart that I refer to as 30,000 foot level chart, like a high level view of the output of a process. The individual's chart on the left hand side assesses stability of the process. If there's no values beyond the upper and lower control, lines that are drawn, then we believe our process is stable. When it's a stable process at this high level view, we can also say the process is predictable. The next obvious question is, what do you predict? You take the data that you have in the individual's chart, and then you would plot it on a probability plot. When data follows a straight line, we believe that model that we have for the probability plot is a good fit. Now, in our particular case, we don't have a specification, but we want to show the variability of the process. So that's what this sharding methodology does for you. So, in this sharding methodology, the 10 and 90% values are pulled off the chart along with the median value, and these values as estimates are reported in the statement at the bottom of the two chart pair. So in other words, we believe the estimated median value is about 100,000 with 80% frequency occurrence, or about four out of five times. Individual values will be between 90,000 and 110,000. Now we can also show a mean value instead of a median, but we can also address a situation where we have a specification. So let's consider we have an upper and lower specification. So I'm going to enter the value here of 110,000 and 90,000 
as a lower specification. And what you'll see now in the chart pair, the estimated non-conformance rate is about 20%, and we expect about 9% to be below the specification limit, and about 11% to be above it, or 20% total. Now I'm going to return to the option without a specification. We can also place the month values that we have in our Excel spreadsheet on the x-axis. We can and add a title, type in the word expense, Y value would be dollars. In the individual chart, the x axis would be month. So if we return to our plot, you can see all the entries that we had just uh, entered are shown on the chart. Now I indicated earlier that you can have access to this software. But before I do that, I want to share with you how this particular value, notice we got 104,000 or a little over 100,000, is similar to the value that was reported in the book, Management 2.0 which is a book that's not just for leadership, but practitioners as well. So if you look at this chart that's in this particular book, you'll see that the values are same are the same as we created with this free app. Also, I've highlighted other information in the book that provides additional information about this particular plot of data. Now, how to get access to this software? Well, you simply have to go to the URL that's provided at the top of this page. Now, if you're intrigued about this book, what I suggest is that you evaluate the, the feedback that this book has had on its Amazon page, which is shown here. There's been excellent reviews. The Kindle view, the Kindle book and the paperback is not going to really break the bank. Also, the Kindle has many links that are available if you have an internet connection. So if you would like to discuss this particular data set further, and the other options in the software, give me a call or email me at info at smartersolutions.com or 512-918-0280.